in the background, in the background right there, that triangle. Mount Everest. Which triangle? The middle triangle. One of them. It's a big mountain. Maybe you've heard of it. We've decided that since we've come this far, and we're going to be the base camp anyway, we each have trekking poles, and we're just going to go to the top. <laughs> Enough screwing around, wouldn't you say? I have some hand warmers. We'll be fine. Yeah, yeah. hand warmers. Nice, I have a nice clear day. We'll go today. I have a fleece hat. <laughs> I've always wanted to see the world from up there. Yeah, yeah. Cool. good view right here. The mountain you see straight ahead, lots of snow in it, is Tauche. And if you go towards the right, the small one with kind of zigzag, black rock with a lot of snow lower down, that's Nuxe. And behind it, which looks like a bit of a triangle, it's Everest. Come towards the right, you see the double peak, that's Lotse and Lotse Sal, both 8,000 meter mountain. And in between, through that valley, you see a smallish peak with lots of snow on it, that's Satse. Then on the right, the most beautiful mountain is on this whole area, Amadablam. And then you come over here, this is uh, Thamshirku. This mountain, which we saw yesterday coming up near Bunker, is the mountain which we're going to see on this area, wherever we are. This is Arjun. He takes really good care of us. That's chilling. <laughs> hey, uh, so what's his name? Jake. Jake and uh, the long haired fella? Ji. Chai. Josh, 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 and me, Evie. Evie, <laughs> very good. What are, what's what do we have for lunch? Uh, you get home. Really? All right, lunch guys have lunch. Lunch, lunch. The peanut, okay, okay. peanut butter and jam sandwiches. Yeah, yeah, yeah. peanut butter and jam, honey. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. How old are you? I'm fine. How how old? Uh, twenty six. Twenty six. Are you married? Yeah. How many kids? Uh, this is two. Two hundred? No. Wow. We're just a couple minutes from Tame, and I've uh, been hiking for a little while. Not too bad today. So if you go this way, chilling. This yes. way, this, this way, way goes, way. but this goes to Tibet. Yeah, this way to Tibet. How many days? Well, we take off from here to, to go seven seven days. Seven days. Yeah. Seven days, six nights. Six nights. To Tibet. So should we run over there? See what that's like? Yeah. Okay. Good. <laughs> <laughs> Tibet. We are in the beautiful place of Tame. And right behind us is a huge it's the biggest pile pile of pile of <laughs> Yak scat. Yak scat. Here, right here. This pile, That's like up there. here. Tonight we will be cooking our dinner yeah. on that. That's um that's yak it. And uh, they dry it, stack it, burn it. This right here, most likely. Is that Sokyo? Look him, or is that yak? Yeah. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yak? Yeah. Yak. 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 Yak crap. Nasty. Carved in the side of the mountain. In the middle of massive giant mountains. Just above a quaint little Himalayan village. Bliss. Behind me is Kumjum, and it's about population 3,500 is what we were told. Elevation about 12, 12, 5 approximately. Uh, coming into town was really kind of cool. There's definitely been a lot more uh, urban planning in place here. They have a really uh, a narrow road as you come through the main gates of the town that are just lined with these prayer rocks and just really, really a cool, cool little town. It's definitely um, not to go on the same tourist route that Namche has. It's very similar as far as the look and the feel of it, but it's it's a lot more rural. There's only a couple of shops and just agriculture. In fact, you can probably see behind me all these fields and grazing areas. Very cool. Bottle cricket. How are you feeling? Much better. I felt like horse crap froze over earlier. <laughs> Just give us really quick, tell us briefly what happened. Um, I got touched the flu last night, really weak, and then hiked this morning, and in a weakened state, you know, my body was really working hard to, to climb, to hike, and I just ran out of juice. And uh, altitude had something to do with that because I, I couldn't keep up with my body. I hyperventilated and on top of that, and my whole body froze. So they gave me a stretcher ride for half an hour to the hospital here. Got checked out. Okay, just need to get a little rest. Then, we, then we're clear to go to base camp. A lot of people came to your rescue. Yeah, a lot of people. I was very grateful. It's pretty scary, actually. Yeah. Scary experience. Oh, you scared the hell out of us. <laughs> <laughs> I apologize.